Hello there. Welcome to Herrera on Hollywood. My name is Stephen Herrera. I have a podcast of the same name. We talk about Blu-rays and DVDs here. Thank you for watching last week's episode, which was about some of my favorite horror Blu-rays from Scream Factory. Today, I want to talk about some of my favorite releases on Blu-ray from Arrow Video. Arrow releases cult, classic, and horror films on Blu-ray and 4K UHD. The first title I want to talk about is Blood Rage. This is a low-budget slasher film that was shot in 1983, but not released until 1987. It takes place on Thanksgiving. It stars Louise Lasser, and it has a killer 80s synth soundtrack. I really like the music in this film. It has some gruesome special effects from Ed French, who worked on Terminator 2. So there's a lot of talent in this film. The story is about twins, Todd and Terry. They seem like nice twins, until a scene in which one of them hits a fellow patron at a drive-in movie theater in the face with an axe. Todd is the one that's blamed for the act, and he is institutionalized. Meanwhile, Terry is free. But has the real killer been in their midst all along? That's the big question of this film. On the back of the box it says, what do you get if you combine Thanksgiving, TV star Louise Lasser, Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman, killer 80s synths, and some truly gruesome special effects, courtesy of Ed French, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Why, it's blood rage, of course. Twins Todd and Terry seem like sweet boys. That is, until one of them takes an axe to the face of a fellow patron at the local drive-in. Todd is blamed for the bloody crime and institutionalized, whilst twin brother Terry goes free. Ten years later, and as the family gathers around the table for a Thanksgiving meal, the news comes in that Todd has escaped. But has the real killer, in fact, been in their midst all along? Shot in 1983 but not released until 1987, Blood Rage is a gloriously gruesome slice of 80s slasher heaven, now restored from the original negative for this stuffed edition. Very clever write-up on the back of the box. This special edition has brand new 2K restoration of the hard home video version transferred from the camera negative and featuring the original title card Slasher. By the way, this film was also called Nightmare at Shadow Woods. Shadow Woods being the apartment complex where the story takes place. It's out, it's out in the wilderness. It's a very interesting apartment complex. High definition, 1080p, and standard definition DVD presentations. Original stereo 2.0 sound, uncompressed PCM on the Blu-ray. Optional English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing. Audio commentary with director John Grismer. Both sides of the camera, an interview with producer, actress, Marianne Cantor, Double Jeopardy, an interview with actor Mark Soper, he portrays the twins in the story, G's Louise, an interview with actress Louise Lasser, Man Behind the Mayhem, an interview with special makeup effects creator Ed French, Three Minutes with Ted Raimi, an interview with actor Ted Raimi, Return to Shadow Woods, 
featurette revisiting the original locations in Jacksonville, Florida. Alternate opening titles, motion still gallery featuring rare behind the scenes makeup photos, reversible sleeve featuring original and newly commissioned artwork by Mark Schoenbach. The feature running time is 82 minutes, aspect ratio 185 to 1, audio is stereo 2.0, and let me show you the discs. On the inside, you see that there's a separate piece attached, which has the Blu-ray, and then you fold that over to the left, and behind it is the DVD version. You can see the reversible sleeve. So there are some comedy elements in the film. Overall, though, it is, it is a very gruesome slasher with a lot of graphic violence. But I think it's a very innovative slasher film. It takes place on Thanksgiving Day, which is interesting backdrop to the story. So that's Blood Rage. Next up is The Initiation. The Initiation seems to be unavailable on the Arrow video website, but it is available on Amazon. The Initiation was released theatrically in 1984, which was a little bit late in the slasher genre, but I think it's a great slasher film. It stars Vera Miles from Psycho and Clue Gulliger from The Return of the Living Dead. They portray the parents of a young girl named Kelly who's in college, and Kelly is suffering from recurring nightmare about a man who is on fire inside of her home. This is actually the debut feature film role for Daphne Zuniga from Melrose Place. Daphne Zuniga portrays Kelly in the story. And I, I really liked her performance in the film. She teams up with an assistant professor at the college. And the assistant professor uses his skills to help her interpret the dream. So he puts her under a lot of instrumentation and testing while she sleeps and, and experiences the dream so that he can understand the dream and help her interpret it. On the back of the box, it says, starring Vera Miles, Psycho, and Clue Gulliger, Return of the Living Dead. The Initiation is the ultimate college-based stock and slash movie now fully restored in glorious high definition. Kelly's sorority sisters have a special initiation in store for her and her fellow pledges, which involves a late night break-in of her father's department store. But what begins as a harmless college prank turns sour when, once inside the mall, the group find themselves locked in for the night along with a deadly intruder. Marking Melrose Place star Daphne Zuniga's debut in a leading role as Kelly, the initiation remains one of the strongest efforts to emerge during the latter days of the Slice and Dice boom. Special edition contents. Brand new 2K restoration from the original camera negative. High definition Blu-ray presentation. Original uncompressed PC on mono audio, optional English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, brand new audio commentary by The Hysteria Continues, Sorority Saga, a brand new interview with writer Charles Pratt Jr., Pledge Night, a brand new interview with actor Christopher Bradley, 
Dream Job, a brand new interview with actress Joy Jones, Extended Scene, Original Theatrical Trailer, Original Screenplay and Production Schedule, BD-ROM Content, Reversible Sleeve featuring Original and Newly Commissioned Artwork by Justin Osborne. The feature runtime is 97 minutes. Aspect ratio is 1.85 to 1. Let me show you the inside of the box. Let's take a look at the disc. The Blu-ray is on the right-hand side, and on the left-hand side there's a booklet. And once again, the sleeve is reversible, which is nice. Next up is Creep Show 2. Creep Show 2 was released in 1987, and it's an anthology that has three different stories. These stories are from George Romero and Stephen King, the masters of the macabre. The first story is about a wooden statue of a Native American. The statue springs to life in order to exact revenge on these young people who do harm and are abusive towards um, a man who owns a general store and his wife. The second story is about a monstrous blob in a lake and these youngsters who go out to this raft for a day of fun end up experiencing a day of terror as they try to escape from this blob that's in the water. And the third is about a hitchhiker who just won't die. He gets hit by a car that's driven by a woman who is being unfaithful to her husband. And the man who gets hit by the car just keeps returning. And he continues to show up as the woman is trying to drive home. So it's very entertaining. Um, I really enjoy Creep Show 2. All three of the stories are fun to watch. It's bookended by an animated um, introduction and ending where there's a young boy who's reading the comic book that includes these stories. So it's nice to have that bumper with the young boy reading the comic book, the Creepshow comic book. And there's also um, a character, the Creep character is also in the film. He delivers the stack of Creepshow comics. Um, and the young boy picks one up in the film. So Creepshow 2, on the back of the box, it says Titans of Terror, George A. Romero and Stephen King deliver yet another selection of blood-curdling tales in Creepshow 2, the follow-up to the 1982 horror classic. In Old Chief Woodenhead, a group of young hoodlums face retribution from an unlikely source after looting a local hardware store. Meanwhile, the raft sees a group of horny teens wishing they'd read the warning signs first before taking a dip in a remote lake. Finally, an uptight businesswoman finds herself with some unwanted company following a hit-and-run incident in The Hitchhiker. Retaining the same EC comic book flavor that made the original such a hit, Creepshow 2, this time directed by longtime Romero collaborator Michael Gornick, is a standout horror anthology from the minds of two of the genre's master craftsmen. Special edition contents, brand new 2K restoration from original film elements, high definition Blu-ray 1080p presentation, Original uncompressed PCM Mono 
stereo and 5.1 DTS HD MA surround audio options, optional English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, audio commentary with director Michael Gornick, Poncho's Last Ride, a brand new interview with actor Daniel Beer, The Road to Dover, a brand new interview with actor Tom Wright, and screenplay for a sequel, an interview with screenwriter George A. Romero. Tales from the Creep, an interview with actor and makeup artist Tom Savini. Nightmares in Foam Rubber, archive featurette on the special effects of Creep Show 2, including interviews with FX artists Howard Berger and Greg Nicotero. My Friend Rick, Berger on his special effects mentor, Rick Baker, behind the scenes footage, image gallery, trailers and TV spots, original screenplay, BD ROM content, reversible sleeve featuring new original and newly commissioned artwork by Mike Saputo. Feature runtime is 90 minutes. Aspect ratio is 1.85 to one. And my audio, once again, is mono, stereo, or 5.1. You do get the special features that were on the DVD release of Creepshow 2. So those are ported over, and you get more. So there's, there's new interviews on this disc that haven't been seen before. I remember the interview with the actor that portrays the hitchhiker. Um, it's very interesting to listen to him. He talks about how he did a lot of the stunts himself. And also the interview with Daniel uh, Beer, who portrayed one of the actors in the Raft story. That's a new interview. So there is a lot of uh, interesting behind the scenes material that you get with this blu-ray release from arrow video let me show you the inside of the box on the right side is the blu-ray disc with that new artwork the same artwork that's on the cover of this blu-ray and on the left side there's a booklet and the booklet features the artwork that was found on the VHS edition of Creepshow 2, as well as an early DVD edition. So it's nice to see that original artwork on the booklet. And it's also on the reverse side of the sleeve. So you can reverse the sleeve and you can have that original artwork on the cover of your Creepshow 2 Blu-ray. So that's it for some of my favorite Blu-ray releases from Arrow Video. I hope you enjoy watching these as much as I enjoy making them. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And talk to you soon. Bye.